Did you know that consumer reported fraud losses in the U.S. exceeded $10 billion in 2023? It's a shocking figure, isn't it? It's like a giant financial disaster unraveling right before our eyes. But what's even more is how this figure came to be. This isn't just a number pulled out of thin air. It's the fruit of meticulous tracking and reporting by a government agency that many of us have heard of, but few truly understand. The Federal Trade Commission, or FTC for short. The FTC plays a crucial role in enforcing federal and consumer protection laws. Its main mission, to prevent deceptive, unfair, and anti-competitive business practices. In 2023, consumers reported losing over $10 billion to fraud. Yes, you heard that right, $10 billion. That's a lot of hard-earned going down the drain. And guess what? Investment scams were the main culprits accounting for the highest losses, but it doesn't stop there. The FTC's Consumer Sentinel Network, a platform that collects and analyzes fraud reports, received a staggering 5.4 million reports in the same year. That's more than 14,000 reports every single day. Imagine the magnitude of this issue. Now, you might be wondering, how do scammers reach consumers? Well, the most common method, believe it or not, is through good old email. That's right. Those spammy emails that clutter your inbox are not just annoying, they can be downright dangerous. Now, let's delve into the types of scams that contributed most to this astronomical sum. If you find this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We have plenty more fascinating, eye-opening content coming your way. Investment scams alone accounted for losses exceeding $4.6 billion in 2023. In this vast world of financial trickery, investment scams tend to be the most successful. And here's why. Scammers are smart, adaptable, and incredibly persuasive. They prey on the dreams of people who hope to build a better future for themselves and their loved ones. Often, these fraudsters promise high returns with little to no risk, creating an illusion of a perfect investment opportunity, a classic bait for unsuspecting victims. These scams come in various shapes and sizes, from Ponzi schemes to fake ICOs, binary options to pump and dump scams. They all have one thing in common, the promise of lucrative returns that never materialize. The con artists behind these scams are adept at exploiting the emotions of their victims using fear, greed, and even empathy as a weapon. Ponzi schemes, for instance, rely on a constant flow of new investors to pay returns to earlier investors. They create an illusion of profitability and legitimacy until the scheme eventually collapses under its own weight. Binary option scams, on the other hand, manipulate trading platforms to ensure that the investor always ends up on the losing side. The success of these scams often boils down to a few common tactics. Scammers use high-pressure sales tactics, urgent calls to action, and complex jargon to confuse and rush their victims into making decisions. They exploit the trust and lack of knowledge of their victims, making it difficult for them to identify the scam until it's too late. But how can one spot these scams? There are some common warning signs, unrealistic returns, aggressive sales tactics, unlicensed sellers, and secretive or complex strategies are all red flags. If an investment opportunity seems too good to be true, it probably is. But investment scams were not the only contributor to this financial disaster. It's crucial to remember that these scams are just one part of a larger, more complex problem. We'll dive into the other offenders in the next scene. Stay tuned. Besides investment scams, other fraudulent practices cause significant losses as well. Among these, identity theft and email scams stand out as major culprits. Identity theft occurs when fraudsters acquire and use another person's personal information, like social security numbers or credit card details, without consent. This stolen information is typically used to commit financial fraud, like making unauthorized transactions or obtaining credit in the victim's name. The repercussions of identity theft are far-reaching. Victims often face financial losses, damaged credit ratings, and the stress of resolving these issues. Then we have email scams, which are often cleverly disguised as legitimate communications from banks, government agencies, or other trusted entities. These scams aim to trick recipients into revealing sensitive information, clicking on malicious links, or even directly sending money to the scammer. The sophistication of these scams is alarming, with fraudsters often using professional-looking emails and persuasive language to dupe their victims. The damage caused by these scams can be devastating. Not only do victims suffer financial losses, but they also have to deal with the emotional turmoil of being scammed and the potential long-term effects, such as identity theft, 
or compromise personal information. But don't let the fear get to you. While these fraudulent practices are indeed concerning, they are not unbeatable. With awareness, caution, and the right protective measures, we can shield ourselves from falling prey to these scams. With these scams causing such devastation, what is being done to combat them? The FTC has been stepping up its efforts to protect the public from these financial predators. The agency plays a critical role in safeguarding consumers and promoting competition, wielding the power of law enforcement, advocacy, and education to do so. In the battle against fraud, the FTC enforces federal competition and consumer protection laws. These laws are designed to prevent deceptive, anti-competitive, and unfair business practices, forming a solid wall of defense against financial predators. But the FTC's work extends beyond law enforcement. It actively advocates for the rights and safety of consumers, fighting to ensure that every individual is treated fairly in the marketplace. The agency also places a high value on education, providing resources and information to help consumers recognize and avoid scams. One of the FTC's most potent weapons in this fight is the Consumer Sentinel Network. This system collects millions of reports from consumers each year, forming a vast reservoir of data that the FTC uses to inform investigations and identify fraud trends. In 2023 alone, the network received over 5.4 million reports including a staggering number of identity theft cases. These reports are crucial, not just for the FTC, but for the public as well. Every report helps the FTC to better understand the landscape of fraud, allowing the agency to develop more effective strategies for combating it. Each report is a piece of the puzzle, and the more pieces the FTC has, the clearer the picture becomes. But let's not forget, the FTC's work is only one part of the equation. While the agency is doing its part, it's also crucial for individuals to take steps to protect themselves. The fight against fraud is a collective effort, and each of us has a role to play. So stay informed, stay vigilant, and remember your actions can make a difference. And protecting yourself from fraud begins with awareness and education. Let's delve into some useful tips you can practice to stay a step ahead of fraudsters. Firstly, recognizing common warning signs is a crucial aspect of fraud prevention. If an offer seems too good to be true, it probably is. Be cautious of unsolicited emails or phone calls, especially those demanding immediate action or asking for personal or financial information. Remember, no genuine organization will request your password or personal details over the phone or via email. Secondly, it's essential to maintain robust, unique passwords for all of your online accounts. Think of using a password manager to help remember them. Where possible, Enable two-factor authentication as it adds an additional layer of security. Up next, use up-to-date antivirus software to shield your devices from malware and phishing attempts. It's also crucial to regularly update your software, apps, and devices as updates often carry security patches for newly found threats. Moreover, pay attention to your online privacy settings. Ensure you're only sharing information with trusted individuals. Regularly check your settings on social media and other online platforms to ensure you're not unintentionally sharing sensitive data. Another proactive measure is to regularly monitor your financial accounts and credit reports for suspicious activity. If you notice anything unusual, report it instantly to your bank or credit card company. Last but not least, never underestimate the power of education. Stay informed about the latest fraud scams and tactics. The Federal Trade Commission's website is a fantastic resource for staying current on the latest fraud trends and prevention tips. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to fighting fraud. Stay vigilant, stay educated, and stay safe. If you've learned something new today, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.